How do I add a string parameter in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.2, and attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that contains the final Jenkins file that we create. And let's go ahead and start creating the job. I'm going to say new item, and I'm going to call this string-job. We'll click on pipeline and click OK. Now, since we're wanting to add a parameter to our job, we could add a parameter by using this project is parameterized. And from there, I could add a parameter and select string parameter. But I don't want to do that. What I want to be able to do is define my full job definition within my Jenkins file that it also contains my parameters. So let's go ahead and uncheck this. And let's go down to my pipeline and say try sample pipeline and click on hello world. This gives us a starting point. Now, to add the parameter, let's click on pipeline syntax, click on declarative directive generator, and then click down to parameters. And then from here, we're going to click on add. And in this case, we're going to select string. Now you'll also notice text, but text is multi-line. In this case, I only want to use string, so a single line text value. So we select string. And for this example, my name, I want it to be person. So we'll type in person. The default value is going to be Darren. And you'll see why in just a moment. And then for our description, we're going to say, who should I say hello to? Now, for this specific parameter type, I can also trim the string. So I'm going to choose to go ahead and trim the string. And then let's click on generate declarative directive. And let's copy this value of parameters and paste it back into our job. We'll space it over here just a little bit to clean it up. Parameters, string, and here. And let's take a look at this. So the default value is going to be Darren. The description is, who should I say hello to? The name is person, and trim is set to true. That way, if I type in something with extra spaces on either the front or the back, all of those extra spaces will be trimmed off. And finally, let's go ahead and change up our echo hello world to now echo out the value of what we type in. So in my case, I'm saying sh echo hello dollar sign brace params dot person. And this person is referencing the person name of this parameter. Now let's go ahead and click on save. Now you'll notice in the left nav that it says build now, but I just defined a parameter. This is a chicken and egg problem. Just because I've saved the job does not mean the parameters have been set up for me. In fact, if we take a look at configure, you'll notice that there are no parameters showing up here. So what I like to do is I go ahead and click on build now just once. I treat this as a throwaway job. That way it reads everything, parses it the way I want it. If I take a look at the output, it says, hello, Darren, which is what I would expect since I give it a default of Darren. But if I take a look now at the configuration of the job, now I can see that the job is now parameterized with person and my default value of Darren and the description along with the trim string. So now if we take a look at string job, now instead of build now, it is build with parameters. So if we click on build with parameters, and just for grins to see how the trim works, let's say I am going to say space, 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 Mr. Jenkins, space, 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 all at the end too. And if I click on build and wait for number two to complete, what we're going to see when it echoes out is that we're going to see, hello, Mr. Jenkins, but we don't have any of the leading spaces or even the trailing spaces at the end. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.